Ever heard of the seven-year itch? Well, there's actually some truth to it. First year, you're walking on air because the dopamine receptors in your noggin are firing like crazy. For the next four years, a different chemical called oxytocin takes over. So you bond with your spouse, get that warm and fuzzy feeling all over. But after seven years, the chemicals in your brain aren't working overtime anymore. So it's up to you to recreate your marriage to get those hormones working again. Because a healthy relationship is all part of you being beautiful. Hi, I'm Dr. Mehmet Oz. And I'm Dr. Mike Royson. Let's explore the biology of our romantic relationships, how we find that right person, and how we continue to love that person. MRIs show that parts of your brain light up like a movie marquee when you're in the romantic phase of love. Why? Because of the love potion ingredient called dopamine. When you're in love and nurture that relationship, your brain pumps out this feel-good chemical. Dopamine drives reward-seeking behavior or craving and increases your brain cells' release of the euphoria hormone serotonin. So the better you feel, the more you want. Because that dopamine pathway increases with risk-taking, we often seek what's new and exciting. Because dopamine and serotonin levels are high when in romantic love, when you're without your loved one, you become lovesick for chemical reasons. Being lovesick actually makes serotonin levels drop 40% down to the same level as people with obsessive compulsive disorder. Being in love triggers the increase of happy chemicals, serving as the chemical reason for why we feel happy when we're in good relationships. Unfortunately, you develop a tolerance for dopamine over time. One way to continue this chemical high is to try new and sometimes even exotic behaviors to increase dopamine levels and stimulate more and more receptors. That's why new sex positions and sex in different rooms seems exciting, especially for men. But don't worry, because another hormone, oxytocin, the powerful chemical that makes you feel intimacy and community, comes to the rescue. Oxytocin, by the way, is also increased by talking, which might be why communication is so important in relationships. This increase in oxytocin, in really the entire symphony of brain chemicals that influences love, is one reason why 99% of humans live in pair bonds. That's not only marriage, but any intimate relationship with one strong partner, be it a spouse, a significant other, a parent, sibling, a close friend, or even your cat. Nevertheless, after around four years, the chemical tide that drives humans to stick together starts to recede. The timing isn't a coincidence, since the potentially created offspring will no longer be entirely dependent on the mother, leaving her better able to provide for herself and her children. Without the chemical handcuffs, the fathers are more prone to leave, which is why the relationship needs to be moved from being purely romantic to a deeper level of beauty to create a fertile field for lifelong pair bonding. Getting back to sex, what's its purpose? For one, sex can serve as that nirvana moment between couples, a time when you feel complete happiness and intimacy, a time when you express your love to your mate. Consider these resulting benefits. Men who have sex three times a week can decrease their risk of a heart attack and stroke by 50%. Women who enjoy sex tend to live longer than those who don't. Great sex makes your body feel and be the equivalent of two to eight years younger. Increasing sex from once a month to once a week, according to researchers, is the happiness equivalent of an additional $50,000 in income for the typical American. So here are a few tips to improve your love life. Reinvent your relationship. Many couples gradually grow apart and have to reconnect. Why? A woman marries a man because she appreciates his potential and then tries to adjust him to fulfill this potential. Conversely, a man marries a woman who is exactly what he wants, and then she goes off and changes. So in effect, as soon as you fall in love, both of you start racing in different directions. Thankfully for you and any offspring, you're held together by those chemical handcuffs like dopamine and oxytocin. But as their levels wane and the cuffs slip off after five to seven years, you need to continually reinvent the marriage by taking each other out of your comfort zones. Travel somewhere new, try a new hobby together, or make some new friends to bring out different parts of your changing personalities. Then, open the fridge. Food plays a vital role in our sexual desire. Some because of the smells, some because of the shape, 
and some because they alter your body chemistry to make you feel a bit more desirable and to desire a mate more. The sense of lemons and donuts and licorice increase penile blood flow, which is necessary for men to achieve an erection. Don't eat the donuts though, because that actually slows the blood down. Just smell it. For women, it's licorice and cucumbers. Why? Well, maybe it's the phallic shape, which subconsciously plays a large part in all food anyway. As if there aren't enough reasons to shop for good food. Here's one more. Great sex. The sex slanted shopping list will spice up your kitchen as well as your bedroom. There are anecdotal reports that keep recurring enough to probably have some validity. Apples give you sweet breath. Asparagus is rich in vitamin E, which helps hormone building. Bananas contain the bromelain, which is believed to increase sexual desire. And celery contains androsterone, a hormone released by male sweat that turns women on. Garlic contains allicin, an ingredient that increases blood flow to your sexual organs. Oysters are high in zinc, which helps produce testosterone. And perhaps best of all are wild yams, which may increase genital sensitivity. So remember that sex can help you live longer and better. So pay attention to our tips and keep your love life hopping.